What's up, everybody? It's Mr. You Know Who from XMR Gaming. And today, guys, I'm bringing you a December 8, 2015 tutorial on how to change the region code for your PS3 save. So I know a lot of you guys are having trouble making my save work for your game. And I believe the problem lies with changing the region code to match your game. So a lot of you guys don't understand what region codes are. So I'm here to actually give you a basic understanding of a region code for a PS3 game and how to change the region code with brute force save data. But before we proceed with changing the code inside of brute force save data, you need to understand what type of region codes there are for PS3 games. So I mocked up a basic for you guys and you guys should be able to follow this. So here's a basic PS3 region code and it's fairly simple to understand now you need to understand first and foremost what type of games are for playstation 3 so you have your disc based games which is the physical hard copy disc that you buy at gamestop target walmart wherever and then you have your digital download those are your playstation network games so like, like you can see here i mocked up a basic you either have a disc based game or digital download and with each type of game each one has its own region code and what the region codes basically are with R is so I'm not a grammar major but you know what I meant to say is where you get your game from so in US which is a disk based game here are the reasons called remember this is just basic it starts with BLUS BCUS. When you see these type of codes, and don't pay attention to the number, the numbers are just for what type of game you're buying. Like if it's Call of Duty or Kingdom Hearts, they usually assign a number for that game. But what you need to pay attention to, sorry, let me get this off the screen, is the code that it starts off with. BLUS, BCUS, those are disk based region codes. Once you can determine that, you can determine first if what type of save you have, if it's a disk space or a digital download. So, like I said before, these are two US region disk based games, which is the ones you buy in Target or Walmart. Now, we're going to move over to PlayStation Network region codes or digital download. So, as you guys can see, I actually combined US and Euro. So if you buy a PlayStation Network game, right, either Euro or US, the region code for those games start with NPEB or NPUB. So automatically when you see a save with NPEB, you should already know it's a digital download game, which is, which is a PlayStation Network version of the game. Then you go down to your EU region, which is a disc-based game as well. What those start with? B L E S, B L E S. Oh, I, oh, I wrote it twice. I didn't realize that, but that's what it is. B L E S is a Euro disc-based game, and then you got your Japanese region disc-based games, which is Japan or Asia, which starts with B L J M, B L. JS and again those are disc based games now you're probably saying mister you know who what happened to the Japanese PlayStation region digital download games what happened is I don't know it because I never downloaded a Japanese region PlayStation Network game because even if I did I, I wouldn't understand what the hell was going on because everything's in um, Chinese text so I don't know that but I do know what a disc-based Japanese, Japanese region save look like in the code. So, as you guys can see, you have all four region codes on what type of game or what type of save is for that game. It's either a disc-based game or a digital download game. It's either one of those two. And now that you know the code, you can determine... If you're downloading my saves or, or using my saves, what type of save? Now, once you know the type of save that you download, what you need to determine is what type of save you have. 
Because once you know what type of save you have, you can convert the save that I have to the version you need on your end for your game. So if I have a disc-based game and you have a PlayStation Network game, you need to convert my disc-based game to match your PlayStation region or digital download game. And the third thing you would need to determine is what type of region code you have for whatever disc space game or PlayStation Network game. And the best way to determine that is to make a copy of your save, bring it into brute force, and it will tell you what type of, well, actually what the code is. So you would have even like a BLU, well, you wouldn't have a BLUS unless some way you got the game in US or you from US, but you would either have a Euro or Asian. So from there, you just need to convert my save code into your save code. And let me actually show you that how to do that in brute force save data. So right now I'm gonna use Medal of Honor Frontline, which is gonna be my next video I'll put out in a little while, but that's besides the point. As you guys can see, it tells you title ID. You see what it starts with NPEB. What that tells you, it's a Euro version and it's a PlayStation Network. And as you can see, it even tells you the region code here. So you don't have to guess this. You, it automatically would tell you what region. And by the title ID, right, which is your region code, you can determine already PlayStation Network, PlayStation Network, PlayStation Network. Euro, US, uh, disc based game, US. Now I'm going to go back to Medal of Honor. I want to convert this to another region code. So what I'm going to do is highlight this, change title ID, forward slash region code. Now, as you guys can see, it'll give me the current region code of that save that I loaded into Brute Force. And then I want to delete this and change it either to a disc based version or to a PlayStation version. But I need to make sure it matches my save. So like I said before, the best way to determine what type of save you have is to make a copy of it, go inside of brute force, load it up, look at it and get that region code for your save so that when you bring in one that you downloaded you can change it to your region code and from there it will create a second save but the second save would be the one that matches your region code so for right now i'm going to take this one here which is a uh, playstation network version and i'm about to change it into another playstation network version that matches my region code so as you guys can see, two different region codes, 308-288, hit OK. And as you guys can see, it created this, the actual second save with the region code that I wanted. And from there, I can copy this back over. And as you guys see, as you guys can see, this is the U.S. version of Medal of Honor, but it's still the PlayStation Network. And this is the one that I have. Not the U, not the Euro version of PlayStation Network. Yes, you can get a disc base one if you know the region code, or if that's the ones you have, then you could change it to that. And once you do that, you want to verify PFD to make sure that everything is good. I'm gonna verify this right now. As you see, it was red. The reason why? Because I changed the region. So always verify. Hit yes. Boom, and that's it. I hit it verify one more time, and everything is good to go. It's blue, the blue, blue, okay, okay. And it's the correct region code. Hold on, I'm just gonna go back down. And there you go, that's it. That's all it is to changing your region code so that you guys can have it match your game, your code, and that's it. That's, it's fairly simple, fairly easy. Now, once you've done all these steps, you, like, as you can see, I always verify PFD to make sure there's no red at all. 
And that's all it is to change in the region of your safe. And then from there, you can mix, mix and match different regions. Now, once you know this, I'm going to tell you from now, because I know a lot of you guys still have questions. So I'm going to answer them right now when it comes to change in region. Can you have a PlayStation Network game, right? Listen to what I'm saying to you, a PlayStation Network game. That's a PSN game that still has, right, a disk-based save. That means if I'm playing a PlayStation Network game and the save is created, and when you copy the save to your USB flash drive, right, can it still be a disk-based save? And the question is, yes. There are some games that are PlayStation Network games, right? But when the save is created, it actually uses a disk-based save. Very few games do that. But, again, it's not impossible. So I don't want you guys like, to, to freak out if you say, I got a PlayStation Network game, but the save that was created is a disk-based game. Some programmers or developers just do that. I don't know why. Maybe they imported the, the disk based game to a uh, PlayStation Network game. They just said, fuck it. We're going to just keep the, the disk base safe. So keep that in mind so you don't freak out. Can I reassign a Japanese save to a uh, U.S. save? The question is, yes, you can do that. So you can mix and match different versions of the safe and some of them will work but not all will work so uh, i think the number one thing for you guys is to keep in mind is make sure when you mix and match safe you convert it to your correct region you do not just get a disk based game because it's the same game and throw it on playstation network and expect it to work that's not how it works. Some games, it will work, but very few work that way. So I want you guys to remember that. Now, here's another scenario I want to bring up. If I have a U.S. saver and I convert it to a Euro save or a Euro save convert it to a U.S. save, will it work? And the question would be, some games, it does not work. So if I take a U.S. save and convert it to Euro save and it does match my region, it should work, but some games it doesn't work. And I'm going to give you the prime example of game it does not work. Metal Gear Solid 5 Phantom Pain. I tried as many of times. I took a U.S. save, converted it to Euro save, loaded up a Euro game with a Euro save that matches that same region. And guess what? It still does not work. Why? It's probably the encryption on the safe. So again, you can run into these encounter, but they're rare of the rare. So don't think like if I did everything right, why isn't the game working? It can be the encryption on the safe. It can be it needs a checksum fixer, but very few games you should have that problem with. Most games and you can mix and match with and everything will be fine. But you would have those very few games that day. It will not work no matter what you do. And at that stage of the game, that's when you can either ask me or go on brute force and ask the admin there. And they will be able to tell you if it does or doesn't work. I hope I said that right. If it does or doesn't work, depending on what the situation is taking place. So... With that being said, I hope this tutorial was very helpful for you guys on how to change the region and basic understanding of how this whole region thing works when it comes to using my save with your save. And it's pretty fairly simple. As I, If you follow everything that I just taught you, it should work right. And you guys should have a, a basic understanding of the region code for the type of game you're playing, either a PlayStation Network, which is a digital download, or a disk based game, so on and so on and so on. So, again, I thank you guys for supporting me. I thank you guys for watching my video. Again, I'm going to continue making these brute force save data new tutorials series so I can go and answer all your questions when it comes to brute force save data. And you guys should have a general 
basic understanding on how to use brute force, what it can do and what it can't do and everything and more. So do look out for my new videos coming. But today I just wanted to share with you guys how to change the region code for your save so you can enjoy my saves. But as always, it's Mr. You Know Who from XMI Gaming. Check out my game channel. Like I said before, I'm going to be doing live stream for Call of Duty Black Ops 3. If you want to play with me, put in a uh, play request on my YouTube channel. And if I answer back, I'll send you an invite. But as always, peace.